Hi Year 3. Today we're going to be doing an investigation. We're going to be using our sapphire power as always to stay focused. Our emerald power because we might find it tricky and need to bounce back. And our pearl power to make links with our learning. I've got lots of resources today. I'm using my whiteboard and also some paper to help with your jottings. Make sure you've got a pencil ready and somewhere to make li little jottings to help you. And the most important thing of all, I've got my br maths brain switched on. Have you got your switched on too? I hope so. And then we are ready. The first thing we're going to begin with discussing is what is a consecutive number? Consecutive just means that it follows on from the previous one. Consecutive numbers go up in steps of one. So one, two, three. They are three consecutive numbers. 15, 16, 17 and 18. They are all consecutive numbers because they go up in one each time. Five, what would the next consecutive number be? Six, and then seven, then eight, nine, and finally, ten. So consecutive numbers are just numbers that go up in one each time. Here are four different number sequences. 15, 16, 17, 2, 4, 6, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 7, 8, and 10. I'm going to give you a couple of moments now to have a think which ones show three consecutive numbers only three consecutive numbers have a go were you correct only 15 16 and 17 were showing three consecutive numbers because two four and six aren't going up in steps of one they're going up in steps of two seven eight and ten aren't going up in steps of one. 19, 20, 21 and 22 are consecutive. They go up in ones each time, but I wanted three consecutive numbers and that's showing four consecutive numbers. I had a little go at this investigation earlier. So I needed to find three consecutive numbers. One, two and three. It then asked me to add them all up. One, add two, add three, which is six. It then said to have another go. So I then chose three, four, and five. Add them up again. Hmm. It then asked me to multiply my middle number by three. So two times three is six. Four times three is 12. Oh, I used two different sets of consecutive numbers. And when I multiplied that middle number by three, I got the same answer. I'm now going to show you why I got the same answer. Okay, I've drawn out three tens frames. All that means is this is a tens frame because it has got five either side and ten all together. The first numbers I chose were one, two, and three. So I'm going to put those in my tens frame. One, two, and three. One, add two, add three, equals six. I can see that really clearly. 
Now I need to take my middle number, which is my 2, and times it by 3. That means I've got 2 3 times. So there will be 2 in here, 2 in here, and 2 in here. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. Which equals 6 altogether still. This one only has one in to begin with. This one already has two. And this one has three. How am I going to make this one and this one both have two in? Oh. This one over here has moved over here. So that there are two in each box. Let's see if we can do the same with our second set of numbers. So I had three, four and five. So I had three in here, I had four in the next box and I had five in my last box. Okay, and I need to add those all together. Three, add four, add five, equaled twelve. Can you remember which number I needed to multiply by three? It was my middle number, which is four. That means I need four in each box. So I'm going to draw that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, how many do I have all together? You're right. I have 12 all together. Last time, I'm going to just show you again quickly. When we did it with twos, we noticed that this one over here went over into the first box so that they all had the same amount in. Let's have another look at what we're doing. This one's already got four, so we don't need to change that one. This one's only got three and it needs four. And this one's got five. So what happens to make this one have four. This top one over here, it moves all the way over into this box. So now this box has got four, this box has got four, and this box has got four. What I want you to do now is have a go at creating your own consecutive numbers and seeing, is it always one from this box that goes over to the first box to make them all have the same amount. I did one, two, three, and then I did three, four, five. You can choose any three consecutive numbers to try what I've just done with. If you find that really easy, there is a PDF document attached to your learning today with some extra challenges that you can try. If you don't want to do those challenges, that's fine, but see whether this always happens, depending on the three numbers you choose. That is the one thing that you definitely need to do. If you're still finding it tricky, then make sure you use this video, pause it step by step to help you, and if it's still quite tricky, then feel free to email us and one of us will reply to help you.